Okay, so you can read there. This is the, uh, the highest spot in Thailand, which I've made it to today. Uh, 2,565.3341 meters above mean sea level. And it is raining and severely foggy. <laughs> so I get to see nothing <laughs> other than this sign that says the highest point in Thailand. So today, I, uh, my father and I drove to Doi Intanon, which is, uh, Doi means mountain. And this happens to be the highest mountain in Thailand, 2,565 meters high. And as you can see, the beautiful, amazing view of Thailand I have is completely covered with fog <laughs> and rain. So luckily the sun's coming out. Maybe if we stay here a little bit longer, the, uh, the fog will burn off. But as you can see, the beautiful view that I would have uh, had it been clear, uh, would be uh, surrounding Thailand area, there, uh, northern Thailand. I'm up uh, by Chiang Mai. This is about an hour, hour and a half drive up from Chiang Mai, where we're staying for the weekend. And like I said, the beautiful view that I was hoping to catch <laughs> is socked in with fog. Go figure. Um, so the temperature in Chiang Mai. Um, for the last couple of days has been about 30, 30, anywhere from 34 to 36, um, which is the, um, you know, high 80s. Very uh, you know, humid, like normal, because it was the, you know, it's kind of an ending of the, the hot high season. Now April's the hottest, but May and June, and now June will start a little bit of the rainy season. But um, this is kind of one of the features I always have here, but uh, as you can see, the top is of gold, but you can barely make it out in this fog. Um, anyway, getting back to what I was saying, it's uh, down on the floor, Chiang Mai, it's about uh, 34 to 36 degrees, and up here, um, actually I can tell you because it's on my phone, hold on one second here, let's see. Up here it is right now 20... 26 degrees, so quite the uh, quite the contrast coming up this high in elevation, which uh, about 8,000 feet or so. But uh, yeah, there's a beautiful beautiful view I was gonna have. There's this one, and then there's a couple over here in the distance, which I can show you the direction they are in, but cannot show you from where I'm at because they are completely covered with fog. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna stay here for a little while and. Uh, take some video and uh, see if I can get this fog to burn off here. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens, but um, I'm hoping that we can get the, uh, the fog to burn away so I can get, uh, get you a picture of uh, where I'm at and what we're looking at because the area would be just amazing, really beautiful. You can see there's a building down there and that's probably only, you know, 100 yards away. The other two are out here in the distance, the two other temples, you can't see those. So anyway, I'll get back on the video if we can hopefully uh, clear this fog up, but uh, it's getting covered, the sun's getting covered up again, so I don't have much promise. So anyway, you can see the path, there's a path, the roofs and stuff, but you can't see anything. So anyway, I'll come back. All right, so inside the building I just showed you that you can barely see the top and uh, quite the echo in here but this is where Buddha is housed you can see here the area where they kneel down and they always have flower incense and all that things um, but uh, there's Buddha and you can see the uh, the roof Pretty nice. This, this is, um, you can tell this is a newer, newer building. They must have just built it uh, recently because it's all newer uh, architecture and, and you can tell that it's been recently built. So the birthplace, the Lumbini, Buddha's birthplace. So you can, 
If you want to read it, you can pause the video there and read it. The Four Holy Places of Buddha. And this is the Thai version. Place of enlightenment. Get out of the light there. It's hard to get the light, so. This is a place of enlightenment. And this would be, uh, like I said earlier on the video, would be an amazing view, except for the fact that it's completely fogged in. <laughs> so, just have to hope this fog burns off. Place of his first teaching. Side too. It's whistling through the windows and doors here. Place of great Parnirvana. Parnirvana. So there you go. All right, so there's the first one. Like I said, you can't see the outside, but this is the inside with Buddha.